talking about Kyrie um, uh, doing something that was anti-Semitic. Right. What the hell been going on for 400 years that's not anti-Semitic to us? Yes, right. Tell me that. Is this not anti-Semitic? Stealing our land? Raping our mothers? Raping our fathers? Jeez. Is that not anti-Semitic? We come in the land and shoot. You can live right. and be a good rest of us. Anything for us. You don't have to have no enemy. 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 I think mm -hmm. I am righteous, bro. Let's find out. I'm going to show you what it means to be righteous. Yes, sir. Because if you ain't doing this right here, you're just being wicked. Me. Be right to me. That is September 25. Bring it out. And this will be our righteousness if we observe to do all the commandments before the Lord our God. We're supposed to do the commandments. That's what makes us righteous. Right now, brother, we can see that you're not keeping no commandments. We can see that you don't really know this Bible whatsoever. Yes, my brother, but you know, I don't have to live by that because you know what? I've learned it's a whole lot more fun in life being good than it is being evil. What does you it mean know what I'm Yes, it is. What if I can help a brother if I see a brother hey, down, what does I'm going to help a good? brother. And what does it is mean to be good? To help a brother. No, Same thing you're trying to say. I'm going to show you what it means to be good. No, you got to tell me right now. You ain't showing show me nothing, bro. You tell me. Rulers, chapter 7 and verse 12. I'm actually showing you and we actually telling you we being the example for our people. Read. Therefore, the law is holy. So God's laws are holy. And the commandment holy. And the commandments are holy. Okay. And there you go. But free. You look. just like the white man. You trying to say the Lord is holy. So and it's the Lord is holy. And the white man. You want the soldiers, y'all. You know what I'm saying, bro? You understand that, sis? Y'all understand that, brother? God's laws are holy. Y'all understand that? Y'all understand that? Our people don't understand God's laws because they don't have no respect for God. We don't have no respect for one another. Right? Hey, you have two Man, men. You we have two men that were sitting here quietly learning. You have the sister oh, sitting so here quietly and asking questions. So you are blaming on me to be the bad guy. But the whole thing is, I'm the good. brother who don't have to go good. into the. White man church tomorrow, cause you know why? Cause I well, took right God now, with me right. in my heart that's every right. day. That's right. Right now you actually coming against God. Followers, what? Bring it in. Get thy foot with the grace of the house of God. God said, keep your foot, meaning close your mouth when you come into the house of God. Understand right here? But well, we're not in the house of God. We're in the house of God right now. You're me about God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, I'm about to God. tell you what my grandma taught me since I've been a little boy. Give me that 1920. 
See, one thing about the Bible, the Bible says keep your mouth shut. And you know what? You're going to show that you ain't going to do a damn thing that the Bible says. That's as simple as that. This right here is like a game to you. And you know what? If you want to keep on playing it like a game, then we're going to have to treat you like the man that you've been. Man, I ain't for fun. Right, and so, and this is nothing, nothing because you ain't making any sense right nothing, now. Nothing. Just think about you all keep your mouth shut to hear the word. Think about it. Hear the word? Nothing. Hey, 18 of the first 18. I'm going with two or three of those that are together in my name. Yeah, I'm in the midst of them. I'm just two more gathered in his name. That's where we at, right here. Second book. Are you reading the Bible? Yes. What whole Bible? Bible. Bible. You gotta keep it down. Read the Bible. Huh? Read the Bible. I know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. What? What? All y'all. What national? All y'all. No, I was. No, I was reading. You was reading. But I I was trying to figure out where you reading from. You said the Bible, the Holy Bible, like what we all got. Do well, you know who you are according to the Bible? No, but tell us who you are. We are to. We think so. You know who you are according to the Bible? A little bit. I think so. Who are you? <laughs> huh? Who are you? I'm not they, sure. They out you see the sign they right here? They got to have a reason. They and the sign right here. here. This is what the white man calls us. I just want to understand. African American, West Indians, you know, Haitians. Right here. But on this oh, side oh, here oh, is what God yeah. calls us. Because our people have not known who they are. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Our people haven't never inquired about who we are because we accepted the lies that we was taught. Because we were taught as we were taught Africans, right? West Indian, right? Are you from West Indian? Yeah, that's where I'm from. I grew up there. You know, your father from there? Yeah. All right, that would make you from the tribe of Benjamin. You understand? trying to push something over here. Oh, shit! Check this one in the street! We need ox more than honor! The Bible says ox more than his honor. And the earth is like the script. And I am giving him. Now, I respect your gangster just now, and I still say, I mean, this brother tried to push me. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Cornbread, bro. Hey, Cornbread. Yes, sir. Calm down, Carbrad. These men out here trying to learn about God. They ain't out here trying to just stuff. I got you. Really I got you. But you know what I'm saying? I want to. The earth! No, it's the earth! Come on, Carbrad. Calm down, Carbrad. Hey, 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 and the earth is my script. The, uh, the Bible is comparing us to two animals. You understand? He said an ox knows his own. An ox is a stubborn animal. You understand? Now I think the ox is a big strong animal, but it's a dog animal. You understand? He said he know where his crib is at. The earth knows his owner. So the ox knows where his owner is. You know what I'm saying? Order? His owner. Owner, okay. Like, owner. like our people don't know who their God is. You understand? Me. And the ass, this must be script. And that ass, if you took that ass box away, I guarantee you, it come right back home. We don't know our homeland. We don't know where we come from. You understand? So we, say, we ask our people all the time where we come from. They'll say Africa. And there's many countries in Africa. What part? You know what I'm saying? Who are we? We don't never inquire about those things. We, we accept the lies that's been taught. We. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what we just show our people who they are. We try to bring them back to a true nationality. Because you, how can you read a book without knowing the characters of the book? Right. You understand? When you sit there and say, I'm a child of God, you need to know who are the children of God. Because everybody's not the children of God. Right. Only the children of Israel. Right. These 12 tribes. So you got to know who you are so you can get into the kingdom. You got to know who you are so guess what? So you can uh, return back to the most high God. Me. But Israel does not know. God said we don't know. We don't know our God and we don't know our homeland. Me. My people does not consider. We don't even consider it. We walk around just as good as me. Hey, what's your nationality? I'm black. That's a color. I'm a Christian. That's a religion. I'm African, African American. Would you name after two white men? We come from two white men? We don't consider where we come from. We don't consider who we are. But we come from the greatest people that ever walked to earth. That's right. That ever walked to earth. That's right. And we gotta realize that being a child of Israel, it means something. Because I hear black people all the time about I ain't no Israelite. I ain't no Israelite. They don't even realize how stupid that sounds. Right. They don't realize how dumb that sound because the whole Bible is about the Israelites. That's I'm going to right. 76. I'm going to show you how God feels about the Israelites. Bring it up. Because we don't realize that, hey, we're special. We, we know us. We, we say we come from kings and queens. That's a black man's black woman saying. 
but they don't know what king line they come from. Right. They don't know what royalty they come from. Right. We just say it. It sounds good. But in reality, it's real. But we just don't have the knowledge of it. I mean, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are holy people to the Most High. You know how you might have your favorite pair of shoes and keep those shoes clean? God said he got a favorite people. That's holy. That's right. You know what he, how he made us holy? By giving us his laws and commandments. Any of y'all got children? Yeah. Do you give your children rules to follow? You do it because you love them, right? Yeah. You don't want your, if you didn't give your children rules, if you didn't give them discipline, hey, you don't have a child that's out here gang banging, you don't have a daughter that's out here whoring, letting every nigga run through them, you know what I'm saying, your kids end up in jail, they'll be out here selling dope. That's, right. that's what happens when you don't have rules in place and you don't put discipline in place. Right. You understand? So God said he had to give, make his children holy. How did he do that? By giving us laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. He didn't do that with any other nation of people. It was only to us. That's right. He gave that to us so we can rule this earth. Because imagine if you give your children rules to follow so they can be wise, how much wiser are you when you ask you to follow God's rules? Right. You know, how about the flip side of it? How much stupider and dumber will you be for not following? Maybe you end up in the ghettos. Maybe you end up with the white man ruling over you. Maybe you end up riding slaves. You got that phone? Maybe, maybe you end up, maybe you end up taking a boat ride that you'll never come back from. Right. Maybe that's what happens when you don't want to follow God. This cool guy. Finish that verse out. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, equal all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said he claimed us to be above all people upon the face of the earth. That's why they come against Kanye uh, right now in the Kyrie Irving. You ever wonder why they was coming at them brothers? Because them brothers been dropping that truth on our right. people. Telling them that they're the Israelites. That's right. That we're God's chosen people. That's right. And the nations hate them. Why would you take 500 million because he sat there and said that, uh, that he advertised a book? Why would you take somebody's money? Why would you take money from your, your kids now just because you posted a link up to a book? Unless that book was telling you who you are. Right. You understand? Sure. That's what's happening. Your enemies hate that. Your enemies spent billions and billions of dollars to keep the truth from you. And the Bible is telling you this. But since black people don't like to read, Guess what? What's the old saying? You want to hide the truth from the nigga? Do what? Put it in the book. Put it in the book. Guess what? The only book they cared about was the one that's the number one seller in the whole earth. The Bible. That's right. They don't want y'all to learn the Bible. So they set up religion so you can learn a religion. So you can learn about white Jesus. So you can learn to love them while they oppress you and put their foot on their neck. Right. That's right. So we said that we have people say, no, you gotta love thy neighbor. They ain't saying that thing about loving one another. We the damn neighbors. We the ones in the ghettos. Right. The white man ain't in your neighborhood. Right. The white man don't give a damn about you. Teach. Period. He ain't your neighbor. He your enemy. Right. How do we sit there and all of a sudden people that would rape, rob, murder, and kill and steal all of a sudden become the people that we can fight for and defend and try to love and want them to go into the kingdom? You think God think that? That's just Right. Yeah, they, they stopped can, us from living for two hundred years. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
Right. You know how they do it now? By telling you you can be whatever you want to be. Right. Come as you are. They said a religion. You gotta understand, back in the day, they ripped that truth out of you. They ripped your nationality out of you. They beat you out of reading. But well, we couldn't read for 20 years. Now, you can't pay the black man to read. Right. You understand? Because why? They gave you white Jesus. Guess what? In Christianity, you ain't got to do a damn thing. Gabby Irvin said reading is a superpower. Right. Reading is a superpower. It's a superpower. That's right. You know what? Give me your Isaiah 34 and 16. Bring it up. Hey, it's a superpower. It's a power that we sit there and will not utilize. Because knowledge sets us free. You understand? Following God's laws sets us free. Me. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Yeah. Take ye out of the book of the Lord and read. God says seek you out of the book of the Lord and read. Not go to the church, sit down and hear some songs, but he says, seek you out the book of the Lord and read. Read. Not one of this shall fail. Not one of these books shall fail. So if you want a successful marriage, guess where the answer's at? You want to raise your family right? Guess where the answer's at? Read it up. And hey, you want to know how to, you should be moving in this earth? Guess where the answer's at? If you want to know how to come out of captivity, guess where the answer's are at? Right. It's in the Bible. Hey. It's always been there. Give me John 8.13. It's always been there. But our people, you know what? We don't want to read. We'd rather sit there and let somebody do the thinking for us. Teach. We'd rather have somebody do the thinking for us. That's why we go to church on Sunday, and you know what? Nobody asks the priest nothing. Right. They won't ask him nothing. He'll sit up there and tell you the Lord's done away with. He'll sit there and tell you all you gotta do is call on the name of Jesus. That's two senses. So the rest of the book means nothing. If that was the case, why would God give you laws and commandments and tell you to do them? Why would he say, if you don't do them, I'll put you in slavery, then for the priest to come back and say, no, we ain't gotta do the laws. Okay. We ain't gotta do the laws. Why, what, explain the way that makes sense. That's not even common sense. First law is what? Know that God with all thy heart and all thy soul. Why would he get rid of that? Why would he get rid of thou shalt not steal? Why would he get rid of thou shalt not kill? Why would he get rid of thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother? Why would God be getting rid of these things? It doesn't make sense. And the reason why it don't make sense is because God gave you what you should be doing. He told you don't trust no man. Damn, if somebody was going to come against the word of God, I'm going to have to see if the Bible actually says that. You understand? That's why whenever we say something, we have to go in the Bible and prove it. Good question. John chapter 8 and verse 22. Right. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Bible says you're going to know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's right. The truth shall make you free. If something had to make us free, that must mean we in captivity, we in bondage. Right. Right. If we're going to learn the truth in the last days, it must mean that we've been taught lies. Right. Right. We've been taught lies. And if there's going to be a savior for us, then guess what? We need to know about that savior. That's right. Right. If they gave you this image, say, now move to the side. If they, if they gave you a savior and said, this is your savior, and this is going to set you free, and you know it's a damn white man, I'm going to read. I'm going to find out if there's a damn white man that's coming to save me. Right. Because I ain't seen a white man on this earth that gave a damn about black people. That's that's right. I don't die for black people. That's right. That don't make sense to me. So I got to go in the Bible to find out if this is the truth or is this a lie. What do y'all think it is? You think the white man coming back to save us? From the white man? Right. The white man coming back to save us from the white man and puts us in Right. Why wouldn't the white man keep the white man in power? Right. Because look, you see your people right here? I die for my people. That's true. Anybody that come against my people is the enemy. Right. That's true. Well, all white people got us in slavery. All white people got us in bondage. All white people got us serving them. They put the guns in our neighborhood, the drugs in our neighborhood. Hey, they got out there. Look, they said they're talking about Kyrie. Um, uh, did something that was anti-Semitic. Right. What the hell been going on for 400 years that's not anti-Semitic to us? Yes, right. Tell me that. Is this not 
and cross your veins, stealing our land, raping our mothers, raping our fathers. Jeez. Is that not anti-Semitic? We come in the Lord and ship. That's right. Can we not sit there and say what's happened to us is wrong? They said six million Jews got killed. Well, damn it, over a hundred million black Americans died on the boat ride coming here. Right. Seventy-seven million Native American Indians, which are the tribe of God, lost their life because they wanted the land. Right. Right. Two hundred million Hispanics were killed for them taking control of their land. Should we not sit there and feel sorry for our people? Right. We get out. Should we sit there and have pity and sorrow for six million when we had almost four hundred million? took from us, our ancestors? Who gonna repay us back for that? That's a good question. His name is not on it. He's damn right his name ain't on it because he ain't a child of God. That's right. Why would God make his children be rapists, robbers, murderers, and killers? Is that in your spirit? Our spirit is one of them. Even though they don't got it, they got us in slavery. Let me show you a white man called Jesus. Bring it up! I think that's what he is called! Let me talk about Baker to life! This is our forefather Isaac. Our bloodline go from Abraham, Isaac. Right? So Isaac has a wife. And his wife wanted to have children. Right? So he had to go inquire of the Most High God why, he was, why she wasn't conceiving. Read. The daughter of Bethlehem, the Syrian of Penrod, and the Ram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Because oh, so, so he went to the Most High, prayed to the Most High for his wife. Because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And oh, so after the prayer to God, guess what? God blessed her with kids, really. And the children struggled together within her. So these children that she was having were struggling together. They was fighting inside the womb. And she said, and if be so, why am I thus? She said, if I'm blessed with children, why am I going through this hell right now? You understand? You as a are you, are you a mother? You want to know? Well, guess what? She was having pains that was unbearable. She wanted to know what's going on. Right. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. He said, Two nations are in thy womb. Not one nation. But two separate nations, really. and two manner of people shall be separate from thy bounds. And they're gonna be separated, really. and the one people shall be stronger than the other. The one people gonna be stronger than the other. We got people that are stronger than the other. Because the white man couldn't endure 400 years of slavery. The white man can't even go out in the sun and stand out there for what an hour or two before he burn, he burn up. You know, we we did for 400 years of slavery in Egypt. In the hot sun. Hey, we did slavery in these cotton fields here in America. The white man could have did that. The white man could have endured the things that we went through. You understand? But we went through that hell because we are stronger than they are. We. And the elder shall serve the younger. So the elder going to serve the younger because generally the elder is the one to get what? The inheritance gets all the blessings. But he said the elder is going to serve the younger. We. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Behold, they came twins in her womb. There were twins in her womb. Hey. And the first came out red. The first came out what? The first came out red. What do we call white people in the South? Rednecks. Rednecks. This is your first white man on the earth. Read. Hey. All over like a hairy garment. And we know if they didn't, if they didn't shave, if they, hey, they don't look like Bigfoot running around here. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. They later became a nation called Edom. They are the Edomites in the Bible. You understand? Me. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. Say so after that came out his brothers, and uh, his hand took uh, hold of Esau's heel. Why didn't they describe his brother? Because his brother looked like everybody else on earth. Who did it to right. himself? That's why. He didn't have to just describe his brother. His brother looked like everybody else on earth. So what was the color of everybody else on the earth? Read. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of, dust of the ground. So God formed man from the dust of the ground. 
Who told us to go to the ground? Brown. There ain't no word. Brown. You just gave it Brown. Right. You, you, you go to God, you get it. Right? So all people on the earth was black. Different shades of brown up to that point. Esau was the first white man on earth. Give me Romans 9 and 13. So let's see how God feel about Esau. Remember, he said the elder gonna serve the younger. You know what I'm saying? God has always been good against evil. You understand? He's always done that. That's the choices we got, good and evil. Guess what? One person, one people was claimed to be was chosen, one was claimed to be the wicked. Let's find out which one was claimed to be the wicked. Brother, chapter 9, number 13. Now, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Esau has he what? But Esau have I hated. God said he loves the children of Jacob, which we are. These are the children of Jacob, these 12 tribes. That's right. Jacob had 12 sons. They make up the nation of Israel. Oh, sure. Esau is the so called white race, and God said he hates them. Is he wrong for hating them? Let's find out. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is there unrighteousness with God? Because he hates the white man? The love us? God forbid! Let me hear now. Read. So he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I'm going to have mercy on whom I'm going to have mercy. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth